Hi everyone. We just wanted to thank everyone who watched our videos on learning how to do the injections with semaglutide and terzepatide. We hope that they were helpful. Uh, please remember if any of this content you find helpful to like and subscribe uh, as well as post any comments or requests that you have so that we can make sure that we always provide content that's helpful to you. Um, with the kind of responses that we got on our previous videos, I thought it would be helpful to just post something on here that pretty much just outlines the type of discussions that I have with my patients when they come in here to discuss the different options that there are for weight loss. Uh, so in the past three or four months or so, there have been some changes. Um, so legally, now only 503B pharmacies are allowed to compound the semaglutide and the trisepatide. Uh, but they have to be done with a clinical difference statement, meaning you need a different dose, uh, different from the one that's provided by the uh, pharmaceutical companies, or there is something else that you need it to be compounded with to offset either side effects of the medication or anything similar. Um, so the ones that are available right now are semaglutide and terzepatide. Uh, there is one on the market, not quite on the market yet. It's in phase three of its clinical trials. It's called retitrutide, and I'm going to explain to you a little bit of the difference about those, um, as well as provide some links to the drug manufacturers for Wegovy and Zepbound, uh, so that if you're interested in getting the name brand, you can get that as well. Um, so one of the main differences between these three medications are semaglutide is just one hormone. So the drug class are called GLP-1s. So that includes your Ozempic, your Saxenda, um, Manjaro, and whenever it's released on the market under whatever name it will be released as is retitrutide. Um, so semaglutide is the same medication as Ozempic and as Wegovy. Uh, terzepatide is the same medication as Manjaro and Zepbound. The difference is, is that Ozempic is made for diabetics. Manjaro is also made for diabetics. So if you are a patient that doesn't have diabetes, insurance isn't going to cover that under a diabetic medication. You will have to have yours under Wegovy or you will have to have it under Zepbound, depending on which one it is that you're interested in. So uh, a lot of the insurance plans that we accept here do not cover any medications for weight loss. So a lot of that is, is self-pay and out of the patient's pocket. So semaglutide is one hormone. It's GLP-1. Terzepatide is GLP-1 plus G GIP. Now retitrutide is gonna be GLP, GIP, and glucagon. Um, so that one will have three hormones. Like I said, that one's in phase three of clinical trials. It does look very promising. It's anticipated that it's gonna be released um, or past uh, its final phases of the clinical trials either at the end of this year or at the beginning of next year. Um, in all reality, even if it does pass, it probably won't be available to the general public, I would think at least until 2027. Um, so most of the discussion today is gonna to cover the ones that are available now on the market. Um, so how these drugs work is that a couple different ways. They make you feel fuller longer by kind of slowing your digestion. So pretty much all the side effects that you could expect from anything that slows down your gut is, is mostly of what you're looking at. So constipation, nausea, heartburn, especially if you're eating things that you shouldn't be or if you eat too late. Um, it does also help curb your cravings. Um, I have had some unique cases in that patients have completely uh, kicked their, their alcohol addiction as well in addition to losing weight. So I'm not claiming that the drug has the ability to do that, but just simply stating some of the things that I have happened to see on patients that have you know done the medication with me. Um, so there's a lot of variation in the amount of weight that you can lose. I have patients ask me, you know, how long does it take to work? How long can I expect to be on the medication? It has a lot to do with individually your metabolic state. So patients who don't have any kind of metabolic conditions could expect to do a little bit better. Um, in what I've seen, women who are menopausal have great results. Uh, it takes them a little bit longer, as well as PCOS, but it's one of the few medications that I've actually seen PCOS women have excellent results with, which is one of the most difficult 
diagnoses to kind of overcome and contend with when you're trying to lose weight. Um, of course, what you put into it is what you're gonna get out. Um, I really preach to my patients the importance of using this medication as a tool and not a cure, because if you're doing this for weight loss, you don't wanna live on this medication forever. Uh, you wanna get what you want from it and you wanna be able to bow out from it. Um, so making sure that you keep your portions small, making sure that you drink plenty of water. You always wanna make sure that your calories are primarily obtained from protein than from anything else. Um, we really push 60 to 80 grams of protein per day, and that's to offset one of the potential side effects of loss of muscle mass, um, which is you know one of the most troubling things that I've seen with the medication. Um, but as long as you're keeping up with your protein intake and you try to do weight-bearing exercise at minimum, uh, free weights, whatever you can in the gym, you know, even if it's only for a little bit, 15 to 20 minutes at first, is going to be really helpful in kind of helping offset that side effect. Um, the other thing that we do here at this clinic that is a little bit different from what I know other places do is that we do microdosing. So in a lot of other clinics, let's take Ozempic, for example. Um, if you do name brand Wegovy or Ozempic, your doses go from 0.25 to 0.5 to one milligram to two milligrams. So in our office, we only increase by a quarter. So that means you're gonna start at 0.25 for two weeks. Uh, I'm sorry, 0.25 for four weeks, 0.5 for four weeks, 0.75, one milligram, 1.25, 1.5, 1.75, so on and so forth. Um, so in most cases, um, especially if it's somebody that's doing the medication for the first time, it's four weeks at, at each dose. Um, very, very infrequently have we deviated from that and, ex and patients have had excellent results. Um, some people aren't really sure how much weight they should be losing in a month, how much is normal, how much is realistic. Realistically, you don't wanna lose more than 10 pounds in a month. You know, I'd say a sweet spot is between five and eight pounds, no more than eight pounds usually. Um, and to me, one of the most important things, again, is that we're not losing muscle mass because you're not gonna regenerate muscle mass in the same way. Um, so that's something that we really kind of harp on here and, and a reason why we do the microdosing. I can say that our patients have done really, really well. Um, no one has the ozempic face and everybody feels good, which is the most important. I've had a lot of people ask me too about the rebound weight gain. So I have also found that by microdosing patients and being able to keep patients on the lowest effective dose, they do have a much easier time coming off when it's time to start cutting back. Um, so I've had some patients be very successful and just cold turkey. We usually say, okay, let's see how far you can, how far you can get for two weeks. If you need us, we're here. Um, so some patients do have a little bit of a struggle. So then we just determine, okay, are we, are you kind of hungry at the one week mark or are you able to make it to two weeks without feeling hungry? Um, if we can get you to fly two weeks and you're feeling great, good, we kind of stretch out your injections to two weeks and just start lowering your dose little by little. Uh, for patients who are like, I'm ready to chew my arm off after one week, we keep you at the one week injections, but we start significantly cutting your dose down by like half or at least a quarter. Um, so that's something that we have found here um, works pretty well for our patients. Um, let's see here. So important things to know about the medication. So since it's is for weight loss, if you have ever had history of men's two carcinoma, it is an absolute contraindication to any of these, in any of the medications in this drug class. Um, I go as far to say if anyone in your family has had history of men's two carcinoma, we don't give you the injection. Um, hypothyroidism, I was very hesitant to that at first, again, because this is strictly for weight loss. Um, I've had numerous patients go to their endocrinologist and get approval from their endo to go ahead and proceed 
with the weight loss medication in light of hypothyroidism. If you have hyperthyroidism, sometimes it can cause a fluctuation in your thyroid um, in your, your thyroid function and your TSH levels. So something I would just recommend getting clearance from your endocrinologist to see if that's something that they recommend for you. Um, diabetic retinopathy. So there's a very rare complication of loss of vision and degeneration of the macula with the medications. Again, very, very rare, but just something that you want to have a conversation with your ophthalmologist if you have any kind of eye conditions, diabetic retinopathy, macular degeneration, glaucoma, something that I would recommend speaking to, to your ophthalmologist about. Um, definitely, if you've ever had any kind of history of pancreatitis um, or any kind of significant alcohol consumption, um, this is something that's kind of iffy. Um, I've had patients have an acute pancreatitis episode and go on to use uh, Ozempic or Terzepatide, you know, when their blood sugars are very well controlled and haven't had a problem, but it's something that has to really done, be done under the care of your, super, of your physician. Definitely, if you're pregnant, again, because it's just for weight loss, I don't recommend doing it unless you've kind of cleared that with your with your GP or your OB. So the biggest, um, the most concerning side effect that I really talk to my patients about is an ileus, which is basically when you have a paralyzed colon. Now I have uh, all patients come in and ask me about this side effect and how serious and how common does it happen. I have not had anyone here in this practice have an ileus, and I really believe that it's because we do microdosing. Um, and part of your routine follow-up visit, we are, you know, kind of get real personal and talk about your bowel movements. So if you tell me I haven't gone to the bathroom in four or five days, I tell you you're not gonna do the medication anymore until you start going to the bathroom regularly. So sometimes it does cause us to have to pause the medication for a little bit. Um, so I usually really encourage patients to just kind of pay attention to your body. If you are an everyday kind of person or an every other day, that's kind of where we want to keep you. Um, so if you go a day past that, that's the time that you want to kind of intervene. You can do prunes, uh, papaya, Miralax, stool softeners. Um, whatever would normally be your go-to to kind of help you go, increasing your water intake really helps with that. That's usually what we recommend that you try. Um, so I believe I've covered just about anything. If I have missed anything or if you have any questions, comments, um, anything that hasn't you know been discussed or you have a doubt about, please just go ahead and drop that below. Um, I am going to include the links to uh, Neurodisc and Eli Lilly for the information on the Wegovi and the ZetBound self-pay programs that they have. Um, the Wegovi starts at $4.99 and the ZetBound ranges from $3.50 per month to $1,049 per month. So those are all just the monthly prices. Um, I hope that you're blessed. I hope that this video has been a blessing to you and helps clear up some of the misconceptions that exist. And have a great weekend.